Grab some popcorn and get comfortable because this video is kicking in that queer closet door. Happy New Year to my beautiful and beloved queers of our community. We have made it to 2022 somehow. May this new year be exactly what we all need and let it be full of new and quality queer content. As you may notice, this video is a bit longer than usual, but please bear with me as it is full of great queer content. With no further ado, welcome to Lesbian Mojo. And in today's video, I'll show you what's new and queer from December and January. So please enjoy. Bienvenidos todos al Nuevo Eus. Ahí se puede cumplir sus sueños. O romperse en un segundo. Vamos. Six teenagers with different lives and personalities attend a prestige private school with only one thing in common, passion for music. De verdad no tienes nada. Que no entiendo. Que eres estúpidamente talentosa y carismática. Que eres increíble en absolutamente todo lo que haces. No mames, Emilia. Te juro que eres la mujer más hermosa que he visto en mi vida y aún así eso no se compara con tu voz. This new Netflix show is amazing, and I have no shame to confess that I binge watch it in less than a day. It's my first time with a woman. It's okay. We don't have to do it if you want. We can go for more drinks, talk to our friends, dance a little bit. The show is unique, funny, smart, and easy to binge show. And my favorite characters are obviously Andy and Emilia. Andy, Andy, Andy. I'm honestly in love with their story, chemistry, vibe, attitude, and expression. We need more stories like this for the new queer generations to come, where shame and coming out to your parents are not the only stories that we get. You're hot. Cupcake. So what'll it be, man or woman? Um... First things first, Arcane is gayer than I ever expected to be. V and Caitlyn are at the center of Arcane, and their relationship is helping to give the wall of Runeterra a level of humanity. Plus, Haley Stanfield from Dickinson does the voice of V. It's been real, Cupcake. Thanks for everything. As I sat down to watch the final act, I feared that these feelings will be thrown aside as a playful queer baiting. But instead, I was met with a serious queer relationship that turned into something beautiful, meaningful, and unexpected. Wait! Wait! Where are you going? I don't know. Back where I came from? We'll make a new plan. We have to try. We tried, okay? What about us? Oil and water. Was it meant to be? It is a made-for-telenovela mistake that provokes a perfect storm as the show explores the meaning of motherhood. Yo te quiero mucho. Yo te me acerques. Perdóname. Estabas muy vulnerable y yo no te quería lastimar. No uses de pretexto. No puedo creer que después de todo lo que hemos vivido y todo lo que... ¿Qué haces? Estoy enamorada de ti. In nine episodes, themes of family, relationships, parenting, and sexuality are developed using multiple storylines among a large and talented cast. One of those stories is bisexual Mariana, that ends up falling hard for Anna. Bueno, pues ha llegado el momento de anunciarles algo que no puede esperar más, que ya no podemos mantener en secreto. Mariana y yo. Somos más que socias. Tú puedes intentar desafanar. This is a 2021 Mexican telenovela streaming on Netflix, and season two was released on December 24th. First things first, Grey's Anatomy has given me one of the most beautiful and realistic lesbian love stories I have ever seen on TV. 
there will be people lining up for you. <laughs> you want to give me some names? <laughs> Conditions can change without warning. I think you'll know. However, today I want to focus my energy on Grey's Anatomy New Season, Episode 8, which was out on December 16, more specifically in Amelia and Case Chemistry. I have a beautiful son, and my son has a beautiful dad, and I am single. You? Married to this lab. Kay was first introduced to this season as Amelia and Meredith travel to Minnesota to join a research team in their fight to cure the Parkinson's disease. No wetsuit, no sunshine. It's the type of cold that makes your fingers ache, your eyelashes frost. Your whole body chatters, not just your teeth. That, are you trying to guide meditate me into feeling cool. Did it work? I mean, it did not work. <laughs> However, over the last few episodes, a million admiration for Kay's work has turned into a pretty obvious and beautiful crush. Their chemistry was spot on, and their scenes together were beautiful to watch. Did you just guide meditate me? Did it work? It did not work. Grey's Anatomy has led the way in terms of mainstream representation of queer relationships, and I'm so excited to see how the show will explore this queer side of Emilia. This series follows a group of stylish and ambitious best friends in Harlem, New York City. So, you want to fuck a woman? Oh my god! God, I did not. Okay, look. <laughs> um, I am not comfortable calling it anything other than curiosity right now. The four main characters are female, and two of them are queer. The show is funny, and both queer characters have their own separate storylines. Can I confess something? I don't usually date other masked women. <laughs> Me neither. You were a dare. You... We're an experiment. So is your experiment working? I love how Queen character is described, her insecurities and her doubts regarding her own sexuality. It is important to normalize late queer awakening, and I'm so excited to see more of these characters. Here we go. Isabella, will you go on a date with me? Also premiering throughout December was the episodes of The Wheel of Time. One of television's most epic fantasy series is now centered on a queer woman. Cannot or will not. On your knees. The lead character, Moraine, played by the amazing Rosamund Pike, is revealed to be in a relationship with another woman. What were you thinking? That display you forced me to put on has made everything we're trying to do much harder. Don't smile. Am I forgiven, Mother? I hate it when you call me that. And not just any woman either. She is in a relationship with Sean Sanchez, the Amelin Seed the Wheel of Time equivalent to the Pope. You've been gone such a long time. On your knees. I mean, this amazing fantasy show starts a queer woman in an interracial relationship who is set out to save the world. Now that I have seen Yellow Jackets, I can tell you a variety of ways you could have sold me on giving this show a try. Queer actresses Liv and Jasmine, Christina Ricci, a queer female main character, 
and the show is a mixture of Big Little Lies meets The Wilds. Scared of what other people think. Nope, just not interested in the drama. Oh, drama. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. They are gonna find out eventually. You know that, right? Not if we get the hell out of here. <laughs> what? I wanna go look for help. The show tells the story of a high school girls football team whose plane goes down on their way to a championship game, forcing them to do whatever it takes to survive for 18 months until they are finally rescued. The show jumps between the present day and the 90s, and one of those survivors is a queer lead character. You can't do this. No, it's not even close to safe. There is no safe anymore, Coach Scott. It's going to be winter soon. If I don't do this, we're... We're all gonna fucking starve. Honestly, I'm loving the show. Part family drama, part survival story, part horror movie, the show has almost 100% rating on Rotten Tomatoes. And just like that, the much-anticipated reboot of Sex and the City has arrived. And Sarah Ramirez is playing podcaster Cher Diaz, a non-binary queer stand-up comedian. My family loves me. Does not mean that they're not confused. You know, it's like, oh, he, she, they, them, oh, please tell me which box to check. <laughs> but you know what I say? I say better to be confused than to be sure. I was secretly hoping that Miranda, played by queer actress Thindia Nixon, would get romantically involved with Cher Diaz. And the last episodes have been amazing and hard to watch. I can't wait to see how their story goes. It says Cheryl has diverticulitis. And my dad, who'd fallen asleep in the empty bed next to mine, bolts upright out of a dead sleep and shouts like he's talking to a complete idiot. Yeah, we already know Cheryl likes girls. <laughs> my father thought the gastroenterologist had diagnosed me as a dyke. <laughs> The show is sweet, sexy, edgy, and fun. And let's be honest, we need more mature queer representation on TV. I know you think you're tough, but you are fucking five feet tall. I am five foot two. I'm just this queer girl that they can't fuck. But you, you're this pretty, blonde, straight girl who they actually think is worthy of respect. You're wrong. What part am I wrong about? It is not as much as a story about sex as it is one about a female friendship between four friends who spend a lot of time talking about sex. I think I like you better than anyone I know. Oh no, that is so sad. We've only known each other for like four weeks. <laughs> okay, well, I don't like a lot of people. Uh, don't compliment me and then water it down. I want to feel that full-blown compliment. <laughs> The show is surprisingly gay, and I have to confess that I was impressed. I don't want to be like this. It really is terrifying. I don't want my whole life to change. Coming out seems really scary. <laughs> but I think the only way you can be happy is if you're yourself. After a very painful and long wait, Euphoria Season 2 is finally here, and the first episode was released on Sunday. When I first met her, I was just immediately in love. Rue? How you doing? Written and directed by Pedro Almodova, Parallel Mothers tells the story of two unmarried women that meet in a hospital while giving birth. Patatas alguna vez? Me estás ofreciendo que trabaje aquí. ¿Y qué tengo que hacer? Pues cuidar de Cecilia y de la casa. Janice and Anna are bound by tragedy, and they develop a relationship that fluctuates between maternal, platonic, and sexual. It is a romance sparked by a fight of historical truth. The 355 is one of those rare movies that is not gay, but somehow it feels it was made for us, the gays. So as soon as I saw the trailer, I was hooked. Are you in therapy? I should be. Five different top female agents, one common enemy, one mission. To save the wall from collapsing. Under the Christmas tree. The movie was released on December 18, and after finally watching it, I can honestly say it is amazingly good. 
Hi. Uh, I'd like to talk to you just for a second about, uh, the, uh, 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 <laughs> your, um, the, um, uh, the drones. <laughs> With so many inspiring messages and a great deal of queer representation, it certainly delivers a whole new level of festive joy. The lead characters are fantastic, their chemistry is so cute to see, and the supporting cast feels full. Oh, you think I'm falling for that old trick? I know you just want to kiss me. What? No, I don't. Oh, it's, I, I didn't mean it like that. You know what I mean, right? <laughs> mm -hmm. But seriously, you do actually have uh, just a little. This is just a great Christmas movie, period, and we should all go and watch it. I thought you liked your freedom. Every day is a new day. I did. I do. I used to. Since when? Since meeting you. Finally, before I go, let me mention Hidden Truth, a Brazilian telenovela. Giovanna is willing to do anything to prove that Angel killed her father. However, she ends up falling in love with her. This telenovela explores the limits of obsession, wealth and pleasure, using the fashion world as a backdrop. It is probably one of the hottest TV series I have ever seen. I hope you enjoyed today's video and thank you so much for watching.